Hello and welcome to Scotch Whiskey Auctions, our online uh, vlog, which we're currently naming uh, Big Pete's Sneaky Peaks at his preferences because we like alliteration and we haven't settled on a proper name yet. Um, this is for the 41st auction. Once again, we're going to be going through the big dogs, the exciting big bottles that we have. And we're also going to be looking at, uh, in this vlog, a couple of the, the more interesting stories behind uh, some of these bottles. I've talked before about garrulous whiskey. Um, but mostly that's been involved in terms of the opening of the bottle and enjoying drams with friends. Whereas these ones have some great stories behind them to maybe share around the whiskey campfire. First up, we have our start of the auction. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, and many other people as well, this lovely Highland Park 50 year old. Um, it comes in a, a silver cage that was designed by international uh, jewellery expert Maeve Gillis. And we've just discovered quite wonderfully that Maeve in Old Gaelic means she who intoxicates. What better name for a person to design a beautiful, beautiful cage for this incredible whiskey. Highland Park believed that the oldest spirit that they had in stock was uh, from 1964 until they found, it's amazing how many distilleries find magic casks, uh, of, uh, from 1960. These were then cask harmonised and released uh, to create this incredible dram. Next up, incredible drams. Uh, you don't have to go much further than Macallan and uh, also Gordon McPhail. And once again we have Spay Malt, possibly pound for pound, the best value range of whiskey in the world, and these two absolute corkers. A 1938, um, this one here is 65 years old, and this one, 1945, bottled at 68 years old. Two incredible old whiskies, great drams, great investment, great stories again. Whiskies that have survived through world wars, whiskies that have survived the test of time to be bottled in these incredible Incredible uh, offerings. Next up, my personal favourites of whiskey -ness, ness ever, the Peter Blake. Absolutely wonderful. Father of Pop Art, Macallan once again, this incredible design and packaging. A thing of real beauty, uh, one that I am uh, quite simply in love with. Next up, we have uh, Kilkerran. This is actually just a small representation uh, of the full set. Um, when Kilkerran first started distilling again, in 2004, the first spirit to come off the stills went to six specially selected casks, a Fino cask, Madeira cask, or Rosso casks, and uh, they were set aside to be bottled for the 10th birthday party. The full bottles themselves are bought, bottled at 46%. These ones, the minis, are bottled at cask strength. So that lot gives you a great chance to see what Kilcairn is capable of in different casks and at different strengths. Um, so that's that wonderful little success story down in Glengarry in Campbellton. Next up we have the irresistible march of uh, defunct or no longer producing Japanese distilleries. This auction we're once again snowed under, bowled over and simply just in love with a deep amount of Japanese whiskey in this auction. Get in, have a look, there's some cracking bottles including this one from Mars Whiskey. This is uh, malt from uh, Kyogashima Distillery which uh, no longer produces malt whiskey, and this is one of the last vattings from the last spirit produced by that distillery. Uh, one of only 3,018 bottles released. Absolutely lovely stuff. Next up, in terms of stories and great names, in terms of the world of whiskey, they don't come much bigger and much better, frankly, than named of Bappy Van Winkle. Uh, brilliant name and truly incredible spirit. This is the 23-year-old. Pappy picture on the front there, cigar, um, enjoying, cigar in mouth, enjoying life. And this incredible whiskey is one of the most sought after in the world. Um, a great, great spirit from, from fabulous production from America. Next, talking about great spirit, we're Ard Beg. And this is a Millennium cask where a hundred lucky people were invited to fill a cask around the Millennium time. They're all listed in the wee booklet in here. And then they were sent out a bottle of this 10 year old that they'd got managed to fill themselves. A great story for those people who managed to be there to, to do something that a lot of people don't get the chance to do. Um, so fabulous Ardbeg there. Next up, more stories, and stories come from Springbank. This is Springbank cast strength 12 year old. 
And the story behind this uh, is rather unique and a wee bit interesting. Rumour has it that uh, Springbank discovered some 35 and 36 year old whisky that had dipped below the 40% and therefore could not be sold as whisky. Being a frugal lot, they decided not to use distilled water to let down the 12 year old to its uh, 57%, but they used this, 40, this 36, 35 year old whisky. As a result, this 12 year old is jam packed with flavour. All that youthful, punchy energy from young Springbank come rounded with this lovely aged spirit. Um, a real uh, cracking dram. Next up is uh, ah, the best named bottle in this distillery. This is Big Butt. And uh, we simply love Big Butts and we cannot lie. Um, this one, one of only 200 bottles released from Nippon. Um, a great, these great fun labels on the front is a sumo wrestler with his big butt, obviously, wrestling a, a young lady on the, on the front there. More whiskey, hard to come by uh, from Hanyu. Uh, these were rescued, apparently, these casks from just before the, the facility was being dismantled and were set for destruction uh, and have been bottled. Uh, No-chill filtration, again, 55%, a great example of the spirit that is being produced uh, over in Japan. And last but not least, uh, a really interesting bottle here from Vat 69. Uh, incidentally, my dad's favourite blended malt. Uh, blended whiskey, sorry. Uh, but this one is from 1936, so my dad certainly wasn't trying this. He would kill me for saying that. But 1936 is quite interesting because this one is to appointment uh, to uh, the Prince of Wales. Now, 1936, the Prince of Wales um, was Edward, who then went off with Wallace Simpson and caused all sorts of consternation in the political establishment, the British hierarchy, with the consorting with a divorced woman. <gasps> the scandal. Maybe, Fat 69, this is the whiskey that they were calming their nerves with, or <laughs> giggling with glee, more like, as they enjoyed their drams. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this quick vlog. There are an, a huge number of bottles to go through. Um, below us, you'll have seen, check on the links, the, the links below. You'll have seen some from the Highland Park, the Peter Blake, uh, the Pappy Van Winkle and the Ardbeg. Check on the links below, but when the auction goes live tomorrow, get in, have a look around. This auction is full of great whiskey, some lovely old drams, really interesting stuff. Um, it is really a very good auction uh, that's making us all here very, very thirsty indeed. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and remember, Scotch Whiskey Auctions, don't lose your bottle.